Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another soccer broadcast. Today we have Chaminade playing against CBC. The game is set to start in a little uh, more than six minutes. We have two great teams lined up today. It's going to be an interesting game. We're not sure how it's going to play out, but Lon, what are you expecting from the game today? So, this is a very close game. Both teams are equally talented. And this is, this is going to be another type of game where, you know, a team beat the other team 1-0. And as we know earlier, in the regular season, we beat CBC 2-1 um, in PK in overtime. It was a very close game, but the C Chaminade came out to the top. And uh got to say, i never seen CBC play before, but Chaminade was on top of their was on top of their game for the last couple of games. So last game we played Fort, Fort Zumble West and um, we beat them 1-0. It was a very fast moving game indeed. Not much scoring, but um, our defense was just terrific. And th their defense was a lot more better. Our offense came to the top. Guys like seniors like um, Jill Reed, uh, Cooper Chiburis, keep their team alive, keep, keep their composure on. Keep their heads high. <laughs> this is going to be a very close game, I got to say. Yeah, absolutely. I'm definitely excited. Uh, the CSPN crew was out last night at Viani for the football game. Yep. And um, we froze our butts off. It was a cold, cold night. It began snowing. Uh, but Shamanad did a great job. Unfortunately, we did lose to Viani. But nonetheless, uh, your Red Devils put up a great fight in the football game last night. Yep. And today, we can only expect amazing things from Shamanad today. Like Lon said, a lot of great people uh, on the team, especially all of our seniors. And a fantastic uh, Red Army is here to cheer them on. ton of students over there facing the cold weather, being out here to support the boys. Well, um, gotta say, this is this is one of the biggest weekend ever in Shaman history, Sh or should I say, Shaman sport history? You know, we're expecting over 500 people today, and seems like not to be. A, seems like that's kind of true. If you look opposite, you see that the bleachers are just packed. Like people don't even have seat to sit on. Some even had to stand on the stand on the fences. Like this is one one of the biggest game ever in uh, St. Louis his sporting history. See, it's not only the playoffs, but it's CBC against Chaminade, arch rivalry, MCC conference. We we are some, we have some r like huge rivalry ever since Boat School was created. What do you think, Garrett? No, I totally agree. Such a big weekend in Chaminade sports. And like you said, all of these games, we've all had a uh, fair chance, and uh, that's what makes them so interesting, the fact that you don't know how the game is going to turn out. We could uh, definitely, definitely win, but they are very much uh, set up with the, with the different teams and different schools to be yep. close games for sure, which make them so interesting. And uh, it is just definitely great to be out here and great to see all of the support, not only from uh, our school, but just uh, fans of high school sports in general gathered here today to watch the game. Yep. Well, um, talk about the team. Uh, we have, as I said earlier, equally talented team and equal coaches as well. They have a coach. I don't know his name, but he's, he's the CBC soccer head coach. And... He is same as Vader. He's, a, he's the Vader of CBC. He, people said he's a legend. 2,000 wins in his entire careers just with CBC alone. That is a lot. Yep, that is a lot of wins. Both men has equal recognition around the city. If, if we shout up his name, Mike Gavain or um, the CBC soccer head coach, they will definitely know him. Yeah, for sure. What's little under two minutes little under two minutes until the game starts seniors are now the teams are now going up there and um, have their little uh, talk before the game now this is going to be quite a huge game but um we don't know what's going to happen, Garrett. Absolutely. Going to keep us on the edge of the seats the yep. whole game. Yep. I'm excited, Vaughn. I am very excited. Now, if you don't know this, but again, as I said earlier, 
as I said earlier, uh, as I say a couple games ago, Chaminade soccer is a highly, uh, highly, se highly senior based team. We got seven. <laughs> we got like what 20, 20 seniors in this team, I think. You know, I couldn't tell you, but I will. I'll find out for you. We we have a lot of seniors in this team, and the starting lineup we have seven seniors, and only a few couple of juniors. So it is, but. That is the reason why the team is doing so well this year. It's because of the seniors, you know. They uh, they make sure their guys uh, get some support. They make sure the guy gets to touch the ball during the game. It's a it's it's a very cool thing to do with the seniors. Yes, absolutely. Now the clock is going to go round down for the game to start. Yep. Oh, so Garrett, um, this might sound as dumb questions, but um, what what is your prediction of the score? You know, I really couldn't tell you. Uh, of course, I'm going to predict a Shamnad victory here, but in terms of numbers, couldn't tell you. What about you, Lon? Do, do you have any? Do you have any guess? Uh oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with, um, a, you know, like one zero or two one. Yes, I definitely think it's going to yep. be in the lower numbers, just because yep. both these yep. teams are so good. Yep. Let's let's hope that Shamnad keeps their heads high and trying to make sure that. Um, they know what they're doing because, you know, we might beat them early this season, but they might learn from their lessons and beat us in return. Of course, yes. So the team cannot take that win earlier in the season for granted. We have to come out here and know that we are playing a very, very talented team that CBC is and give it all that we have in order to win this. Yep. This is a huge game today. Now we got our uh, normal lineup today. Um Guys like Scott Ross, Jack Micah, Adam Kuhn, Zach White, Garam e Ethan Garamella, Cooper Shaburis, the man, Joseph Reed, Vincent Laurie, Sean Green, and Arthur DeCampo. Now, last game, if you didn't know, Sh Joseph Reed was the man with the horsepower. He runs like no one. I might have to compare him with LJ Fortune, but LJ Fortune is only a junior, and he plays football, which, you know, he has to be really fast. But Joseph Reed, great hustle last game. That's why he got his goal. That's why he's the MVP of the last game. 82% of the votes voted for him. And the team is walking out to center field. Uh, if you look to the left of there, you see that this um, the Red Army is surprisingly huge today, you know. Yes, we have an awesome theme planned out with the Red Army today. We are all starting in red, and then at halftime we have a little surprise. Yep. Maybe a little baby powder in there. Maybe, maybe. maybe I don't yeah. know. I don't know. And then we're going to switch over to some to some white. Get those Shamanite colors in there, both the red and the white today. Yep. Now, despite the cold weather, they still come out and support the game, so support their guys. Like, like yesterday, you know, there was a blizzard. A freaking blizzard, <laughs> and and uh, wasn't quite a blizzard, but I mean, it sure felt like it, it when we were it outside sure in there. It felt like what I can't even see a thing. Yes, and, but still, over a, over like fifty guys pop out for the for for the team. It was an awesome student it section last awesome. night. Yes, and even better one today. Yep, the sun definitely makes a difference. It is it is it is a, a little lot windy, more but the sun keeping it warm. Couldn't even ask for better weather, Garrett. I'm not going to necessarily say it's cool because, you know, I'm having two sweatshirt on. But a little windy, sun comes out, perfect weather. Yeah, doing all right. Just in case you didn't know, um, little PSA, which is a very huge thing. This November 20th is the ninth and odd, so pop out at the Athletictron Shamanad, watch the watch the Shamanad basketball team getting hyped for their season. There's gonna be dunk contest, there's gonna be three points contest, there's gonna be scrimmage, and there's gonna be te there's gonna be they're gonna switch, they're gonna split in half, and they're gonna play each other. It's a very cool thing. 
and it's her second annual Night at the Nod. Yes, so. second annual Night at the Nod. Tuesday, November 20th, 7 p.m. in the Athletic Tron. Right before uh, Thanksgiving break, so, you know, you don't have you don't have a lot of homework, so just you know, come out, support the guys. Plus, possible chance of free T-shirts. Let's just see over there. Um, a lot of seniors are trying are hugging their underclassmen and their teammates, as they know this might possibly be the last game they ever play for their team. Now the red and the white is going to take over the field. Again, both equally matched team. Both talented. Both has good coaches. And great student section, got to say. Look at the, look at their student section. This is definitely over 1000 people, Garrett. What do you think? Oh, 100%. There are a lot of people here and a lot of people <laughs> still coming in as well. Yep, a lot. So the team to spread out across the field. The game has just begun. Now Garamella with the ball. He leads the ball off the right field. It's going to be kicked out of bounds. Shamanad. It's going to be um, a cadet ball after Zach White was pushed out of bounds. Cole Russ going to kick the ball up high at Garamella. Arthur DeCampo trying to get for the ball. He's going to go back to Shamana defense again. And kicking it back to goalie Joe Mitchell. Joe kicks the ball up. It goes to Sean Green, sophomore. And it is still on the Shamanad side. And it just went over to the CBC side. Let's see if we can keep it over there. Now that's a very good um, offense attack so far for Shamanad. And as well as CBC with amazing defense. The ball went out of nowhere. Go to Zach White. He crossed it over. Couldn't find a man. It's going to ball out of bounds. Kicked out by Ethan Caramella. It's going to be Cadet's ball. Throw in by CBC. It's going to be uh, Adam Coons. Go to, uh, it's going to go to CBC defense. Very good hustle by uh, Vincent Laurie as he kicks the ball up high for the defense. Good fight by both teams. Garamella is going to kick the ball up nowhere. And it's going to be sh uh, CBC possession. And the ball goes out. Cooper Chabers with the deflection. <laughs> CBC throw in. Now, the last game at Fort Dunwall West, it, it was a quite a quite like a football game. A lot of contact, Garrett. Jack. Now that's a foul call on number 10 from CBC as he pushed Jack Micah down in the ground. The crowd's getting loud over there. Great call by the ref. Shamnod Red Army chanting, you can't do that. We make some really good chants, if you ask me, Garrett. Oh, absolutely. They're very entertaining. Yep. That was a good, that was a good kick by Cole Ross over there. Uh, I mean, Scott Ross, my bad. As he just, you know, find enough time for his players to get enough breathe. Great shot over there. Yes, ball went to Joe Reed. 
kicked it over there, but got hit or uh, caught the CBC goalie. Now Joe Reed, that was kicking that ball meant for Arthur DeCampo. He didn't make it on time, so if he did, <laughs> he could execute it because it'd be 1 0 for Chaminade. Cooper Chiburis again. He tackles the Cooper guy. passes it over to Vincent Laurie. Vincent is running down the CBC side of the field. And CBC kicks it out. Shamanad throw in by Cooper Chiburis. Aiming a, for Arthur DeCampos. And Jack Micah with the ball, passes it back. And we are keeping it on the CBC side of the field, which is exactly what we want. Zach, Zach White with the right few. He's going to cross it over. He's called on offside. That was a nice little play there with the crossover and the um, header by Joe Reed. My bad, that was not a call on offside. It was, it, the ball went out of bounds. <laughs> Zach White with the header. It's going to be Sean Green with the ball. Um, I mean, Ethan Garamella. Vincent Lurie, header. Almost with the goal. Went right through uh, Arthur DeCampo and, and Joseph Reed's leg. It was a great effort over there. Great idea by Vincent Lowry. CBC goalie is going to kick the ball out. Now the Red Army was, is doing a great job cheering for the guys. Adam Kuntz with the ball. Kick, kick it up high. Campo with the ball. Beautiful footwork by all these guys. Yep. Lots of good passes. Everything is intentional when you're watching them. Yep. Shamanad had some excellent defense, if you ask me. The ball has been has not touched uh, our side of the, the field a lot. But Shamanad defense always keep it on the left side, which is CBC side. Now that is what I call. So almost a good goal for CBC over there. Almost, I got pretty close. Yep. The ball got kicked out of bounds. CBC uh, captain number, uh, I don't know what number he is. Uh, number 10, he slide, ta he's, he slide tackled the, the, uh, the defender trying to kick for the ball, but it went out of bounds. The ball is hot. It's going to be called a foul on CBC. I thought it was called a, I thought it was going to be a, a handball. CBC heads the ball. Passing over, and the ball goes out. Throw in over to Joe Reed, and then the ball goes out again. Throw in to, uh, by CBC. Vincent Lori passes it up over to Joe Reed. Joe is kicking it around the field, and CBC gets the ball. And the ball goes out after a good play by Shamanad. Arthur DeCampo deflects the ball off. He has the ball. He kicks Great it off the line. Great footwork. And it's not out. Great job keeping the ball inbounds from Arthur DeCampo. 
Joseph Reed almost got the ball. That was a good good defense over there by CBC. Absolutely. Stops the ball just in time. We Otherwise, were so close. Joseph Reed could have just pounded that ball in there like a canyon ball. Good job by Adam Coons drop, uh, stopping the ball. Scott the Ross. ball is on the Shamanad side of the turf. Trying to get it out of there. Good work for all the Shamanad guys. Ethan Garamella has some open field over here. He's going to go for Arthur DeCampo. He's going to almost with the goal. It's going to be called for a uh, going to be called for a corner kick. It's a great view. Uh, it's going to be that was a great communication between the Shamanad players over there as uh, DeCampo passed it back to Garamella and it's going to go back to DeCampo. He has some open field. Could have could have I got, got a great goal. Corner kick by Jack Micah going in and over to the CBC. The ball is going down the field and it is out. Thrown by Cooper Traverse over there to Adam Kuntz. On the Shamanad side of the field, they're trying to pass it up the field, getting it over to the other end. Chibi is going to go to Campo, which is going to go back to CBC. Sean Green, he's going to attack with a guy. The ball goes out. Adam Coons, that's a goal for CBC. Goal for CBC. Good offensive run over there. 29 yeah. minutes left in the half. Now, if you, um, if you ask me over there, uh, Adam Coons was, has absolute no idea where the ball is. Joe, and um, Joe Mitchell was far away from the goal. And um, he was trying to get for the ball. The ball was up high. Three guys were down there. And CBC just, he just header it in. Yeah, they had that opportunity, and they took it. But I am confident that the Shamanai guys will bring it back. They will give it all they got. That was a great execution from, CB, from CBC. We are still very early in the game, so anything can happen. It yep, is 1-0, CBC leading. So let's try to get this. Get a point up there for Shamanad to put us on the board. Sean Green, sophomore, is going to throw it in. He's the only sophomore in the team right now. Adam Coons, who made a mistake earlier, trying not to do it again as he steal the ball from CBC. Scott Ross re leading the ball back. He's going to kick the ball up high, go to Zach White. It's going to be out of bounds. CBC ball. Shamana needs to get, get themselves back together, trying to keep their heads up high. CBC took an early lead, but let's hope that Shamana can still redeem themselves. The ball goes out. Joseph Reed. It's going to be a CBC ball. Thrown by CBC. Now this time, Coach Gavain, the head coach, is actually standing up now as he's trying to tell his guy what to do. Scott Ross, slide tackle, deflects the ball out. Cooper Chiburis, great footwork, goes to Sean Green, who is wide open. CBC is going to pressure him. And it's going to be a little triangle with uh, or tingle between uh, Adam Coons, Sean Green, Scott Ross, and Cooper Chaburis. And Shamanad is so close to the CBC side of the field. We seem to find that opportunity to get the ball in the goal and take up on that. A lot of good work, though, by the Shamanad team. A lot of good plays by them. I've seen a ton of head balls this game, but definitely everyone is doing a great job.
No, CBC student section is getting a little cocky over there, not knowing it's only the first half of the game and 26 minutes left. And yes, plenty of time. Plenty, plenty of time, time for Shamna to have a goal. Jack Michael with the header. The Ruffles. Laurie steals the ball away. And CBC kicks it down the field, and they're getting over, passes it over one of them, and Joe a Mitchell save by goalie ball. Joe Mitchell for Chaminade. <laughs> the ball went a little out of his hand a little bit, but, you know. I know, I know, I, I saw a bounce he grabbed in there. it, yes. so, which is good. That got me kind of scared over there. Yes, but Joe is a great goalie. Are you just... Um, I'm kind of surprised because, you know, usually Vader, the coach, doesn't stand up that high. Joseph Reed again with the ball. It's going to be deflected out from CBC. Chaminade ball. As I was saying earlier, Coach Vader is standing up right now, telling his team what to do for the first time ever seen in the whole season. Now, Joseph Reed's going to cross kick it by over. Joe Reed. Crossover, but just missed. Ooh, the sun is coming out. It is warming up out here. Yep, it is definitely getting warmer. The snows are going to melt. Kupch Burris is going to kick the ball up. Let's go back again to CBC. And it's the ball goes out. So that's ball. Now, um, I don't know about you, but I'm very sad right now. Why is that line? Uh, I mean, like it's one zero, but still we got we got still another half left plus twenty four minutes. Oh, we we plenty we, of time. We have plenty of time, but you know, I I do not want to lose the CBC. <laughs> Shaman at ball. Long thrown by Cooper Traverse over to Arthur DeCampos. And CBC with the ball now heads it over to Shamanad's side. And CBC number nine with the ball and it it's gets kick kicked out. out. Now Shamanad, uh Red Army with the tradition of uh, singing psalm. Singing some songs from, yep. uh, from the First Church Friday Church. Mass. Yep. Got a couple of favorites in there. Uh, Fly Like a Bird, Malo Malo. Yep. They love them. And if you want to sing psalms, please join uh, the Friday uh, qu Men Choir. Contact my guy, Garrett Wellever here, or Tristan Hawatma to join. Practice every Friday. 7 a.m. on the theater. On the stage in the theater for yep. mass, all are welcome. Last year we had about uh, 10, 15 guys in the choir. This year we have up to 35 to 40 guys in the choir, including the instruments, which is so awesome. That's going to be a call a corner kick. CBC students, C I mean CBC players are be bewildered. They don't know. It. Now uh, it's going to be... Ethan Garamella was going to uh, make the corner kick. Let, uh, another opportunity for Shamana to score a goal. Great kick over there. It's going to be kicked, uh, header kick uh, out for CBC. Cooper Chibers. It's going to be Shamana ball. Of course, the noodle chance. Can't really forget that. Classic. Jack Mike over there in the corner, going to kick in the ball. Everyone in the stands are quiet, waiting to see what's going to happen.
Vincent Lori! Oh, oh to go. so he close. He went up high. Just a little too high, a foot too high over the goal. <laughs> Great play, though, by Chaminade. Now, everyone was rooting for that magical moment, you know. It was like, everyone, stay quiet. We were ready for, for, like a, for a minute second. there. It, yep. uh, it seemed like a golf game for a second. Everyone yep. just quieted down. There was no talking. And then that was high, wide, and I don't know the rest. I'm sorry, Mr. Gavain. Mr. Gavain taught us that on one of the broadcast ones. Now, great footwork. Garamel is going to cross it over. And that was a long pass. Is it going out? And it is out. It's going to be a cadet's ball. Kick over uh, by Mella CC. He's going to cross it over to uh, Zach White. The ball is kick a little too strong, but he made it there just in time. It's going to be Shaman that ball. Zach White over there with a little hesitation. Let's see, switching off Vincent Laurie. For Joe Hipskin. Now, what I heard from this guy is that he is an excellent soccer player. Still so only sophomore year, but he's a really he's a he's a really good player. Yes, Vincent Jack Laurie Michael over there with kicked the ball a little too high. So like I was saying, uh, Vincent had a ton of active time playing on the field, so it was good to get him, uh, get someone else in there just to change it up, give uh, V a little break, and he'll go back out there in a couple of minutes uh, strong and ready to play again. Yep. Scott Ross going to pass it over to Sean Green, defensive player. It's going to be Chaminade ball. Now subs are going in. Cole Ross is going to subs in for uh Takes out Joe Reed. Oh, wait. No, that's not. The Campos. The Campos, yes. Now let's hope that we can actually put something on the scoreboard now. Very worried I am right now. If we make it 1-1, a little yes. burden will come out, but, you know... Just gonna cross our fingers. It's gonna be shining that ball. Zach White's gonna throw it in. I don't know what Garrett. Do you recognize the palms, the song that uh, CBC is singing, or is it just their? They are singing a little CBC parody of Piano Man, which happens to be uh, one of my favorite songs. It's a really good song, but they are. Uh, I don't know. Changing the lyrics up over there. Scott Ross gonna head it back. Skip. Good job, by Scott Ross. Over to Joe Reed. Passes it up, and Shamanad still has the ball, which is a good sign. They're taking their time, which is what we need right now. No room for mistakes. I don't know what was that on. It's definitely on Shamanad, but I don't know that call. And they're running down the field, Shamanad and CBC Sean right next Green to each other. Racing for the ball. He gets it. It's going to. And Nathan Garamella stumbles a bit, but f gain his feet work back. It's going to be Shamanad ball. Um, a little over 17 minutes left on the clock. Still very wordy. If you guys tune in at home, um, tell us who you think is going to win this game by, uh, uh, by tweeting on Twitter at CSPNCCP. And probably... You know, later, tell us who your 
MVP? Who do you think is the MVP of this game? Who do you think is, you know, the fa the best player here? Just tweet us out. That's gonna be called a foul. Jack Micah got tripped over. Scott Ross is gonna kick it up. And we are right next to the goal. Oh, and and just missed it. That was uh, that was Scott. It was it was Ethan Guillermo who made that kick. Could have got that. Could have got that ball in. It was very close. The Cooper Chiburi is gonna. Adam Kuhn just got uh, subbed off the field. Great work by him. Absolutely, he was. Uh, Definitely a lot of great plays Michael and a lot of good runs shot. by him. Let's see, out of bounds. Shamanat ball. CBC has a lot of offense attack over there. Now, it's going to be Cole, Cole Ross. He found himself some space. It's going to be Joseph Reed. Could have could have got the goal in, but he decided to finesse it a little bit. It's gonna go back to Joe Hipskin. Goes back to Jack Micah. Micah's gonna go back to uh, Gear Mella. It's gonna be a CBC ball. CBC with the ball now, running down the Shamanat side of the field. They're getting closer to the goal, but Cooper to Burris is over there with Gear Mella and it's it gets kicked out. Ball. Over to Joe Reed, and he kicks it back. He got a bicycle kick it back over there. It's a handball, but the coach, did, uh, the ref did not decided to not call on that. Huge kick by CBC uh, going nowhere. Yep. And that went out. Don't know who that was aimed for. I don't think it was aimed for anybody. Cooper Burris. He's going to throw it in. The, now the Jabir's family has a tradition of playing soccer and baseball. We have a good chance again, CBC in every single sport except for football. Because, you know, CBC has an, an amazing quarterback. And, um, you know, and secondly, they're one of the top team in the whole uh, nation. I'm not going to be surprised if they're actually going to win state this year. I'm not all corner, corner kick for uh, Jack Micah's going to kick it in. Jack Mike has been taking all these corner kicks this game. He's taking this one right now, kicking it in. So Garrett, since uh, I, I'm a middle schooler, I don't know, I don't know what's up, but um, any uh, anything else happening in Shamanat this week, next week? Yeah, absolutely, Inlan. I'm glad you asked. This is a uh, big one right here. We have Junior Parent and Student College Planning Night this Thursday, November 15th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the skip to begin uh, talking about with our uh, two amazing college counselors at Chaminade the process of beginning your college search and your college pla uh, planning. A panel of experienced college representatives from five different colleges will be with us that night on Thursday to talk about different things like size, location, uh, in-state, out-of-state, and the programs that they have on their different campuses. Definitely an event you don't want to miss. That was Thursday, November 15th at 6.30 p.m. Uh, 
CBC over there misses the ball, and it's going to go to Zach White. He's going to cross it over. It's going to be a uh, it's going to be a goal kick for CBC. That was a good play. Sean Green has a lot of open field as. I kind of realize the weakness of CBC now is that they tend to go in the middle. And um, now Sean Green found himself some space. And um, that was a bad call for me. Uh, it was not a goal kick. It's going to be corner kick for Shamanad. And this ball is going to stop short. Joe Hipskin, again with the ball. He has two opportunities. He's going to go out. Nope, it's gonna, not going to go out as Evan Brown stops it just in time. Goes to Garamella. Nice footwork over there. They go to Hipskin. Or Hippy by Coach Satori. Is that what they call him? And they brought the ball Spurs. in the middle of the field, but it got... Uh, it is working Jack around. Yeah, Garamella has some open field. He... Hipskin. little contact between Joe Hipskin over there and uh, CBC number 21 as they kind of fell over each other and 21 kind of shoulder Hips uh, Hipskin. Cole Ross is going to decide not to cross it over. So how did um, it's a terrible call by the ref over there as the guy decided to grab on uh, Kolra's jersey. It's going to be Shamanad Ball. Shamanad, um, both team. Now CBC found himself some open space. He has the ball. It's going to be called a foul. And um, I don't know what's that on. Yellow card on CBC. I don't know, but was that on CBC or Chaminade? I don't know either. We'll find out here in a oh, second. Oh, it's got to be a free yeah. kick for CBC. Yes. It's yeah. Gonna be, it's got to be an Chaminade opportunity for them to uh, score up. over here. Now, now, I'm getting scared over here, Garrett. Crossing I know. Crossing my fingers. Cross the fingers. Cross the fingers. Got to cross it. Yes. We know Joe is prepared, of course. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're just hoping that... All goes well with this. That Joe can make a good save if it gets that far. Or uh, hopefully the line of the Chaminade guys can stop the ball while they're up there. Now, as I said last night, um, for two games, in two, uh, we got to at least win one. And um, otherwise, it's going to be one of the biggest fail ever in Chaminade uh, sporting history. I am... Joe uh, Mitchell is getting ready. A lot of anticipation here. Yep. <laughs> and now he's going to kick it in. It's going to be, it's going to go past. That was an interesting little thing CBC did right there. They sent all the guys across and then the. Yep. Oh, I was trying to see that um, maybe they're trying to get the guy some, some breathing, some, some breathing in. They definitely get had. A rest. 
a good opportunity to score right there, yep. but uh, kicked a little too high. So it is still one nothing with CBC in the lead. Yep. With eight minutes left, or excuse me, about closer to nine minutes left in the first half here. This might be another PK, if you ask me. Joe Hipskin, great footwork, keeps the ball inbounds, and still has it on possession. Ethan Garamella has some, has some open space. Arthur DiCampo lopped the ball over, oh. and it's going to be Chaminade ball. Corner kick. DiCampo's running to the goal so close up there, then it was kicked yep. out last minute by one of the CBC guys, but he was making his way to the goal. I could see it. I was anticipating it, him kicking it in, and then at the last second, it was kicked out by one of those uh, CBC players. Now, it was... Three uh, opening chance for Shamanad um, to to score. Arthur DeCampo could have got that one in. The ball went a little too uh, went a little bit um, too strong, I guess, and it kind of lop off his his leg. But huge props to Shamanad for not letting CBC score again, keeping the score yep. uh, one zero. So it is definitely a very very close. Anything can happen. So huge props to them for not letting any more goals in and keeping it mainly on the CBC side of the field. Yep. Trying to prevent as much damage as possible, you know. Trying to keep everything uh, away from the from the danger zone, which is the goalie box. CBC kicks the ball in. Zach White, he kind of whiplash over there. Hope he's okay. I'm very confused between the players right now. You know, they have a lot of they have a lot of uh, hair on their heads, cause they're they kind of have they kind of say that if they do not, unless they got out, they would not shave. Good ball movement by uh, Joseph Freed, but he got triple team. It's gonna be CBC ball. Throws it in, got steal by uh, CBC. Joe Hips, uh, Joe Reed's gonna pass it back. Short passes for CBC. Evan Brown, nice stop, good deflection. It's gonna be uh, Shaman ball. Jack, uh, Jack White. He finds himself some space. Ball's broke free. And it gets kicked out. Shamanad ball. And that wind is picking up. A little chilly out here now. Yep. I came out prepared this morning, you know. I, I, I have double layer um, sweatpants on, which is... A smart move. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, we learned a lesson from yesterday after freezing. Indeed. You know, in, in, in case you don't know, Brendan has to get me off my chair and uh, make me stand up and put my uh, pants on because I was wearing shorts. Yeah, shorts would not have been a good move out here. <laughs> now, um, it's great. Uh, it's, it's, last night was something that we need to remember forever, you know. It's cold. Five minutes left in the in the half with one zero CBC. Good ball. And the ball gets kicked back. Good, good and deflection. And Chaburis is over Chaburis. there. Yes, to get it out. Yep. Super quick throw on by CBC. <laughs> Scott Ross is going to header it right down there. Good crossover. Scott Ross again kicking it out. Now Joe Mitchell is going to save it. He's going to punt it out. Evan Brown's going to pass it to Zach White. It's going to be in another 
offense attack for Chaminade. Zach White still has the ball in. It's going to be out of bounds. Chaminade ball. Still have a feeling that Garrett, yeah, I have a feeling that more people are coming in now. Yes, we have Vincent Laurie going in. Let's see, and who is coming out? Vincent Laurie going in and Zach White coming out. Uh, just trying to get them some breathing breathing room because, you know, Zach White has been playing the whole game. He must be really tired, out of his breath. CBC uh, goalie, goalie with the ball. Save. The ball came out short. And an other goal by CBC. Joe Mitchell over there. Uh, definitely great job by him. He did uh, just miss it, though. But that brings the score up to 2-0. Uh, CBC in the lead with two minutes left in the first half. The game is definitely looking in favor of CBC. Chaminade still has plenty of opportunity to pull through and get some points on the board. We are at zero, so just to get a single point on the board would be um, would be amazing. So definitely still a lot of time left. However, the odds are definitely looking in CBC's favor, but uh, anything, anything uh, can happen. If that was a perfect chance. Uh, that was a perfect uh, chance for right now. Fire up, fire up, big red, fire up. Keeping the team heads high. Keep them supported. Trying to make sure they can change the situation that's happening right now. Trying to reverse it over. Evan Brown is going to go to Joe Hipskin with uh, less with one minute, one thirty left on the clock. Burris. It's going to be out of bounds. Shamanad ball. I have a, have a feeling that, uh, you know, some of our guys are not as fast anymore. This is... I'm having some goosebumps on, my, on, my, on me right now. Number one, it's cold. Number two, the scoreboard. Kind of kills me. I feel you. This game is keeping us on our seats in hopes that Chaminade will uh, score a goal here. They are definitely putting up a great fight, though. The Red Devils are doing such a good job. The student section cheering them on. Fire up Big Red. Fire up as they are uh, just got finished chanting. Campo with the ball. It's going to go to Jack Micah. Going back to Garamella. Garamella found Micah has some open space right now. As four CBC guys are surrounding him. Now, it, I kind of want, I kind of feel like that's his strategy, you know. It's going to be halftime. 2-0 Chaminade. First half is over. Thank you for tuning in. And, uh, and of course, still please tune in. We'll see you in the second half.
campus is 56 acres, so you really have to come up to the hill where Chaminade sits to see the whole expanse of the campus. Chaminade is a Catholic and Marianist school for young men in grades 6 through 12. We operate in the Marianist and Catholic tradition, which encourages um, every young man who comes here to develop the, his gifts and talents to the fullest extent possible. If I didn't come here, I honestly, I don't think I would be where I was because I had so many people who pushed me so just to be the best man I could possibly be, be the best person, no matter what it was, be, what, or what it was. In class, I was always trying to get the best grade. I was trying to be the best player. I was trying to be the best at everything I did. And I think this school does, it does everything possible to get the best out of each one of their, their students. Character development or the value training permeates everything that we do at Chaminade. Things that they're encouraged to, to value and, and do are all part of the uh, Marianist tradition and uh, particularly of the Chaminade tradition of Estovir, be a man. The service uh, program that we have here is pretty amazing and very extensive and um, uh, it is demanding of the young men's time. We, uh, we do it in such a way that um, they have to find the time in their busy lives, just as they will later on as adults, to be of service to other people. For a while now, we've been doing Father Dempsey's, uh, which I did, where you go down and you cook food for the homeless down at the, uh, Father Dempsey's shelter. Uh, you find them all over um, the, the metropolitan area. Um, we work uh, quite a bit in North St. Louis. Um, they uh, work in various uh, institutions here, uh, caring for older people, work with young people and tutoring them. Some of the programs go to El Salvador. When I first walked onto campus, I was a sixth grader, it was 2008, and I was so nervous uh, that I wasn't gonna fit in, and you know, cause I like theater and I was kind of a Star Trek dork, but I mean, you just learn really quickly that everyone around here is just so welcoming and so open. That was so reassuring to me after I was so initially nervous to just be here and be a part of it. So the house system is the way that we organize our student body in the non-instructional part of the school day. We organize the students in five houses. So every student identifies with one of those five houses, and within each house is there are eight mentor groups, which commonly are known as homeroom. We call them mentor groups. And then all the mentor groups have what we call senior leaders. So seniors take a leadership role in those mentor groups. The house system really helps foster a sort of camaraderie between classes that I don't think is really able to be seen anywhere else. Um, I still remember my senior leaders from 6th grade and 7th grade. Uh, I'm friends with them on Facebook, we talk. We went on a junior leadership training retreat and I am deathly afraid of heights. But one of the activities was to go 40 feet up in the air and just hang around on these ropes. I was so scared of heights. But the whole house kind of got behind me and they said, if we all can do it, you can do it too. And I got up there and was able to do it. Chaminade has been a very important part of my life. Uh, still some of my best friends uh, growing up are, are kids that I met here in high school. And, and for me, it's about being well-rounded. I think Chaminade is the perfect balance of, of academics, athletics, religion, arts. I think overall, uh, just with the experience with the faculty and, and with, this, with the school and the kids you meet here, to me, it was a huge part in, in me becoming the man I am today. We have the fantastic Skip Bureau Center. What I love about the Skip is that there's so much variety of stuff. It's not just we're focusing on pottery or we're focusing on theater or we're focusing on band, you can do everything. The balance that exists between studies and sports is that you take care of the work in the classroom and then you take care of what you need to on the field. The soccer field uh, is one of the best in the country. Basketball, of course, certainly competitive and the size of the school allows many students to have the opportunity to play sports. My favorite memory is, is going back to the days when I played Chaminade hockey. Um, you know, some of those guys that uh, I played with were uh, classmates and have made lasting friendships. It just really means a, very much like a home setting to me. It's, um, it's a place that's very based on faith and faith is important to me and my family so I can come back here and feel very uh, very embraced in that family spirit. 
the Shamanad does a great job of molding you into a, like I say, you, you walk in these doors a boy and you leave a man. This was, you know, the biggest factor of this way out of me was it was kind of my maturity, you know, away from, you know, away from hockey, becoming a, a, a man and become first, just kind of like the slogan, I still veer, that that was important and it's still something I always hold close to my heart. Estovir is a Latin expression that means be a man. And, and that's the challenge that we give to every young man who comes to Shamanad, to be the person that God intended him to be. And to do that, he's going to have to work at developing his inherent gifts and talents, but he's also going to need to learn a strong set of values. It's a very comprehensive model that calls him to be the very best person that he can be. When people ask me why did I choose Shamanad, I always say academics first. You know, I'm a, I'm a good athlete, I uh, play in the NBA, but academics has always been important to me. It's always been number one. Because if without that, I wouldn't be able to play basketball, clearly. But I think this school is just so terrific at pushing you to the ultimate level. They want what's best for you. They challenge you, they're hard on you, but life isn't easy. Shamanad is very much cutting edge in terms of keeping abreast of what's going on. I mean, between the global, uh, education uh, in terms of the resident program, uh, the STEM program that stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And it's one of the foundations here at Chaminade, keeping uh, ahead of the curve, if you will. And uh, it's a great place for our children to, to become men. Just before we came to St. Louis, we were in Sydney, Australia. So we needed a high school and a middle school for the two older boys. We had a lot of criteria that we were trying to meet. We knew that the school had an appreciation for a diversity of culture and learning styles and ways of thinking. And we felt that that might be an important fit. Global learning means opening your eyes to what is happening in the world at large and also being able to find a place there. And we felt that we needed our boys to be marketable and that when they leave here and go to college that they would be able to be gainfully employed in a world that doesn't just think about me. It's very important that we maintain our connection to our CMEs, our Characteristics of Marianist Education, and our Global Reach program fills that need. It fits right in. The students are going to have a greater awareness of this connectivity of what happens in the globe. It also happens at home. And if we bring students to the awareness of this local global nexus, it's going to be very uh, helpful for them as they move forward in their education. So that's very uh, poignant to inter-quality education. We are very proud of our graduation rate at Chaminade. The advanced placement and college credit program that we have uh, is very highly developed. So it is not unusual for a young man to leave here with 30 or more hours of college credit. With the phrase we are Chaminade embodies exactly that, the spirit of the school, the spirit of the students, um, the loyalty, and it's much deeper than a loyalty to the school or to the sports teams. It's a loyalty to one another. It's a loyalty to um, each, other's, each other as brothers, as classmates, as family. It's a sense of the family spirit that we have here that is so important. Uh, that's one of the parts of the Marianist characteristics that the students value most. They, they can grab onto it because it's very real, the family spirit that animates everything that we do here. I have great memories, some of my best memories. I think if I could go back and, and do something all over again, it would be the four years I spent here in high school. Um, I think that once again, the, the, the kids that I, that I met and the, the special times that I had playing basketball here as well, I think was, was something I'll never forget and something that really helped me to, uh, to really kind of become the man that I am. I obviously think Chaminade is a very wonderful place. It affords any young man who comes here a very rich experience. Uh, and we can't talk about all of it, but what I would encourage you to do is to come and visit us and be a part of our family. We are Chaminade. 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 We are
And welcome back, soccer fans. We are ready to start the second half. It is 0-2 uh, with a CBC in the lead today. Chaminade against CBC. Beautiful day. little chilly out here, but nonetheless, we are playing and Chaminade is doing a great job we are losing um, but they are definitely a lot of great plays a lot of good footwork by all the teams uh, and a lot of good passes and everything is intentional and going well uh, Chaminade and CBC they're both huddled up on the fields over there and uh, just getting ready to start the next half looking forward to a good half it's going to be close Hopefully, Sean and I can get some points back up on the scoreboard. We were definitely um, expecting a lot from them. This is such a big game, one of the biggest weekends in Chaminade sport history with football last night and soccer today. Uh, we just got to witness an awesome... Uh, uh, thing by the Chaminade Red Army. We all showed up today wearing red, and then during halftime we just did, uh, we threw white baby powder up in the air, chanting to the I Believe chant, and then we all changed into white. We will uh, get a video of that tweeted out to you guys, so be sure to check uh, on Twitter at CSPNCCP for that. We have not done that, I believe, in um, a couple years, if I'm correct. Um but definitely that was uh, very, very awesome to watch. And we will get that video out to you guys. Lon is here uh, joining us as well. And uh, we are here to bring you guys the uh, second half of the game. Both teams are ready to go, spread out across the field. Sorry, I was a little bit late on schedule. Enjoying that hot chocolate. <laughs> No, um, Shamad has, I don't know, like six more chance, six chances so far in this game of scoring, but uh, we didn't have the chance to execute it. It's gonna be called an offside on R30 Campo. Got a throw in going by Cooper Taburis. Down over and taken by one of the uh, CBC players. Passed over across the field. Making its way down to the Chaminade side. Joe Mitchell is still in goal. Good work by Adam Kuntz uh, saving the ball down there. And it went out of bounds. Throw in by Sean Green, sophomore. Over to Ethan Garamella and Zach White. CBC takes the ball. Passes it over to the Chaminade side of the field. Don't know who that pass was intended for. There we go. CBC with the ball now. And they are getting awfully close to the goal, which, of course, we don't want Chaminade. Uh, we want Chaminade to get a point on the board and CBC to stay far away from another goal. Uh, great work by Chaminade defense. Even though CBC does have two goals, they have been uh, definitely putting up a great fight. Joe Reed up there. And the ball goes out of bounds. Throw in by Joe Reed. Definitely a great, great game. Keeping everybody on the edge of their seats to see what will happen as this is such a big game. Now, um, Shamanat is lacking one thing that they really did have so far in this season, which is... Um, uh, which is... Uh, sort of um, uh, what's it? short passes. That was uh, I was going for. Yep, Shama is lacking of short passes right now. If we know where our guys going, if we throw it better, you know, we could have made some progress and putting something diff, trying to make something different, trying to put something on on the scoreboard.
Scott Ross going to kick the ball up high. Vincent Laurie with the header. Jack Micah kicks it out. Good job uh, by uh, Shama defense. Kubica burst. Jack Micah. He's still with the he's still with the ball. He's gonna pass it up uh, for Sean Green. Sean Green is gonna kick the ball to no one as CBC will have it now. And CBC running with the ball back and it got stolen by uh, Scott Ross. Pass it over to one of the CBC players. Arthur DeCampos over there takes the ball. He's running towards the CBC ball. goal. And he you're missed. so close. Now, Arthur DeCampo is doing something that is very irritating right now. He got so many chances but decided not to have it. It's, it, it, it is. See, like last game, Fort, at Fort Zone West. We almost lost that game. But, um, yeah, he gets so many assists from Joseph Reed, from uh, Vincent Lord, from all those guys. But guess what? He decided to finesse it a little bit, you know? No, to Campos, he is doing a great job, though, Lon. It does take a lot of work, and uh, what we see up here might be different than what is, uh, you know, what they're actually, uh, the players are seeing down there. So, But definitely, great job to him. Yep. He, he 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 does a great job of finding himself some space on the CBC's part of the field. That was a, almost a good goal over there for Shamanad as you know. And the ball goes back to goalie Joe Mitchell who kicks it up over to Scott Ross. Scott Ross with the ball now, keeping it close to him, and he passes it over. Shamanad has the ball. Ethan Garamella with the ball. And uh, kicks it straight at the goal. The CBC goalie takes it, but that was a straight line over there. CBC goalie kicks the ball out into the field, and it gets taken by one of the CBC players. They are passing it around. Good formation by those guys. They are no. passing it through. They pass it back. Now, Chaminat, uh team... The Shaman the players are showing quite some life over here. You know, trying to get some uh, passes going in. Good job of Arthur DeCampo. Great footwork. Sean Green executes it. Got deflects out. It's going to be Zach White's ball. Goes to Arthur DeCampo. He's going to cross it over. Good save over there by CBC. We have 33 minutes left. Still got some uh, time for miracle to happen, you know. Yes, to get a point on the board. That is the goal by the end of the day, by the end of the game today, for sure. Just to get a point up there. Throw I in by, well, there we go. Throw in by Zach White over to Arthur DeCampos. DeCampos reflects it off his body, and it goes out. Shaman at ball. I did not want to say that uh, Shaman is with, uh, I mean, I mean Jesus is with CBC because, you know, we're both our Catholic school. So. I don't know who's throwing in. Do you have any idea? It's, it, it no, Cooper I cannot see the CBC was student Chaburis. section. Was yep, it was Cooper Chaburis. Now, Adam Coons. He got tripped over. Seems like a CBC man is down. The ball. Sean Green is going to pass it back to uh, Joe Mitchell. He's going to short pass it to Adam Coons. Coons has it. Goes to Zach White. He deflects it off. Almost The ball almost broke free. He has the ball again. Good play there by Adam Coons and Zach White. It's an out of bounds. And it's a CBC ball. Jack yes. Micah, good job over there. Keep track, keeping track of the ball. Just that he got out a little bit. Two subs going in for CBC, switching out some of their players. And now a throw in by CBC, throws it in, and it goes out again. Throw in Shaman by Adam, Adam Koontz. No, I'm sorry, thrown by Sean Green to Adam Koontz. Koontz kicks it down the line. It goes over to Arthur DeCampos, deflects it off his body, 
and it is kicked over to the Chaminade side, taken again by Coons, passed over. Uh, Jack Micah with the ball now, and pass it over to sophomore Sean Green. Kicks it over down to Zach White, and we are getting so close to the CBC goal. Joe Reed is up there, and the ball gets passed back again. CBC has the ball. Kicks it over to the Chaminade side. Coons kick, uh, passes it back up over to Sean Green, and the ball goes out. CBC over here with the throw in. CBC throws the ball in down the field, uh, headed by Zach White. Passes it over to Ethan Garamella, and Zach White with the ball again. CBC now passing it to the middle of the field. The ball passes Adam Coons, goes over to Joe Mitchell, catches the ball. And Joe rolls the ball into play down the middle of the field. Jack Micah with it now. Over to Scott Ross. Kicking it down the line, and it goes out uh, into the stands. It's going to be that ball. Now the players are trying to save as much time as possible because they kind of realize that 31 minutes with, uh, t to score two goals with the CBC defense is not easy. Ball's out, shout out ball. Throw in. And see we see with the ball now. They are making their way down to our side of the field. Kicking it down. Coots running for the ball. And he slides it out right before the CBC player got there. Great play by Coots. Definitely the, the Chaminade guys, they are working hard. They are running fast, passing the ball good, making uh, great, great plays here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get some points on the board because they are doing such a great job. Throw in uh, from CBC. And they kick the ball over to the complete opposite side of the field. Bring it towards the middle. And Scott Ross with the ball, bringing it over to the CBC side of the field, which is good. Want to keep it over there. Great work by Chaminade. CBC with the ball now. Crosses it over. And CBC kicks it back. It's going to be Chaminade ball. Throw in again by Sean Green. Down the line over to Joe Reed. Down to Jack Micah. Jack is running with the ball. Passes it over to Arthur DeCampos. DeCampos going to heel kick it. It's a nice little kick back there. Over to Vincent Lowry. And a fight with the ball between Chaminade and CBC. Great play there. CBC has the ball now, passing it over. A lot of quick passes here. Definitely very, very interesting. And the ball goes out. You shot him out of the ball. It's going to be shot him out of the ball. Out of bounds again. Thrown by Cooper Taburis. See if she gets it, and it goes out again. CBC is going to get the goal kick. And they kick it down. Makes about halfway down the field, and it is headed by Zach White. Joe Reed with the ball now. Fancy footwork there. Looking good. Over to Jack Micah. Down to Adam Koontz. Passes the ball Jack, uh, back to Joe Mitchell. He kicks it over to Sean Green. And Sean Green now with the ball. Taking his time. And he passes it up. The ball reaches Joe Reed. And we are so close to that CBC goal. CBC now with the ball though. They tend to bring it to the middle quite a bit. CBC with the ball. They just passed it. 
and it is out again for a throw in by CBC. CBC throws it in, kick it back. Sean Green running to the ball. And it goes out, throw in by Sean Green to Zach White. Zach is running down the field, keeping the ball close to him. He's yeah. over on the side. He can he pass it over? Can he pass it over? It's going to be out. And it goes out. CBC is going to have a goal kick. It all happens so fast. You're just running with the ball, running with the, with the ball, and before they get the chance to pass it over, before you know it, the, they're on the complete opposite side of the field, and it, the ball goes out. Goal kick by CBC. So nice chance going on by the Chaminade Red Army. A lot of people here today cheering on the team, which is what we need right now. Definitely keep the keeping the heads high and uh, really just encouraging everybody. Uh, the Red Army is doing a great job, led by all the seniors, of course, with the chants and the baby powder and everything. So huge shout out to all the seniors and all the house captains, especially for leading the Red Army throughout the whole soccer season and uh, all the sports so far this year. CBC with the ball, passes it back. Joe Mitchell kicks it, which is good because he was far away from the goal. Bounces off Zach White. Cadet's ball. Yes, and throw in by CBC. We have 24 minutes left in this half, so it is still a fresh half, still a lot of time. Another throw in by CBC. Shumnod is ready. Zach White heads the ball. DeCampos heads the ball. Jack Micah heads the ball. Lots of headers in this game. Kupchish Burris uh, steal the ball away. It's going to be out. Um, waiting with the call from the ref. Shumnod ball. Let's see who's going to take it. There we go. Scott Ross with the kick. CBC seems like they have improved a lot ever since last game when we played them. It's going to be CBC ball. Okay, I had a little uh, break in the play there. Everyone got the chance just to slow it down. And the game is back and running with Sean Green. It passes the ball up. DeCampos is up there working hard. The Campo got hit on the face with the ball. Yeah, it looks like he headed it and it hit his nope. nose, maybe? That's it's what I'm thinking. Mouth. He's just trying to spit the blood out. Now, that is a very good sportsmanship over there by CBC. Num uh, number six, and uh, number eight, Ad, he was trying, you know, trying to ask if our third is okay, trying to see where the blood is. That's a it's a, very, it's a great picture between two school. Not something I would expect from such a high com high competitive game like this. And we have Zach White subbed out. For Joe Hipskin. And, and also a sub by CBC. And the game is up and running with Coons. Passes the ball up and it hits off one of the CBC players. And let's see, Sean Green passes it back to Coons. Nice short passes, keeping the ball controlled, which is what we want here. Keeping the ball as close to uh, the player as possible, so uh, to try to prevent CBC from coming in and taking it, because that is their strong suit coming in and intercepting the ball. 
So Sean Green with it and almost went out. Joe was passing it up and then back to Sean Green. A lot of action here between Joe and Sean. Ball goes up the field and 2C is going to take possession of the ball and... Sean Green again with the ball. Yes, passes it up. Couldn't get it to Joe, Joe, Joe Reed. And Joe Mitchell with the ball now. Kicks it over to Adam Kuntz. Kuntz passes to Sean Green. So close to Ethan Garamello, but one of the CBC guys took it and almost out. Oh, Sean Green saved the ball from going out over to Ethan Garamello now. And they are working the ball down the field. CBC has the ball. Jack Micah and... Is running over to Joe. Let's see. Is the ball and the ball goes out. Good time right now where there's uh, no play going on just for the team to think about what they're going to do next, just kind of regroup, regather their thoughts for sure in this high-paced game that they just get the chance to uh, settle down, to slow things down. Joe Mitchell now with the ball, and he kicks it up over to Sean Green. Sean is definitely working hard in this game. He's uh, seen a lot of playing time for sure, and he's been doing a great job. A lot of plays between him and uh, Kuntz. CBC with the ball now. Definitely a lot of uh, changes with the ball between players. It goes over to Chaminade and CBC just constantly back-to-back, -back, which is what makes this game so interesting. And Joe kicks the ball out over to Ethan Garamello, who is running with the ball now down the middle of the field. Passes it over there to... And it lands off one of the CBC guys. DeCampos is right up there, and Joe Reed are right up there. And it goes out. CBC has some really good defenders this year. Some tall guys, very nice guarding abilities. No, that was a bad call by the Ralph. Causing, causing the, the Shaman coaches to get very furious. Let's see, the ball is passing over to CBC and they have it now taken by Sean Green. Pass over to Joe Reed, and it goes out. Shaman that ball. Joe Reed with the throw in. Oh, switches over to Joe. Hipskin, not Reed, sorry. <laughs> and Joe Hipskin takes the ball and throws it in to Joe Reed. Running down the middle of the field, passes it up to. Well, CBC. Cole Ross trying to manage to keep the ball in. Ethan Caramella kicked that ball, went to CBC. I don't know if he, I don't know if he was trying to go for a pass or an execution for the shoot. It's be a foul on CBC. 17 minutes left on the clock. At Shaman, we're trying to. Trying to put something on the scoreboard, trying to make a difference because we are desperately needing some something up in the scoreboard. It's going to be a goal kick by CBC. Another uh, little break in the play. Give the players a chance just to kind of rest just for a split second because they, uh, when the play is going on, they are just running constantly.
The lot ball of touched the breath. A lot of interchanges here between uh, the Chaminade and CBC players. The ball is switching over constantly. Uh, CBC number 21 takes it back, and he is running back to the goal. Joe Mitchell. Good save over there. Gets the ball and throws it over to Joe Hipskind, and he passes it up. Now Campo trying oh. to go for the ball, tackles a little bit. He's going to – and he's going to – Oh, wide open goal and Shamanov with the goal. A goal Good for Shamanov. Finally, two one. Two one with sixteen minutes left in the half. <laughs> Cole Ross slapping his chest as hard as possible, trying to prove to CBC that they can do something. They can try to make a difference and they will win this game. Now that is a moral boost. Something that is really needed right now for Chaminade. Absolutely. Now uh, the players have that even more determination. They had it to begin with, but now this yep. goal uh, just reminds them that they can do it, and this really sets them back on track. We do only have 16 minutes left, so time is for sure ticking. Uh, we just need to make sure uh, Chaminade defense that CBC does not score another goal themselves. Ethan Garamella again with the ball. He found Jake Joe Reed. Arthur DeCampo, header in. It's a good save by goalie over there. Now, Garrett, uh, I gotta say, I feel better now. Yes, me as well. Uh, that, was, that was definitely something really, uh, that re we really needed. Good job by Cole Ross, again. Huge chance by Chaminade Red Army, even firing up the team even more. Is it called a foul on CBC? Jack Micah kind of shoot the ball uh, uh, in the middle of nowhere because, you know, nobody was really looking for it. Now, CBC has the opportunity to go for a goal. Good defense as Cooper Chiburis deflects it out, trying to keep it away from the goal the danger zone as much as possible. Joseph Reed, got to cross it over, Arthur DeCampo. Campos and. Oh, see many corner kick. A lot of good opportunities were there. Yes, but great good work save. by those guys. Campos and Joe, as always, running hard, doing a great job, as well as Shamna defense. Now, Garrett, I kind of realized this. The goal not only give us a more boost, creates more chemistry for the guys, you know. The Absolutely. Ball, find his place. Find his, Find the feet of the players. Now that's what I'm talking about. A good opportunity. The ball is that high. Arthur De Campo is going to header it. It's going to be Shaman on ball. Cole Ross again with the ball, almost with the goal. Let's the ball is still on free. Sha uh, goes out. CBC is going to kick it out, and uh, De Campo is going to throw it in for Shaman Got a corner kick. Very close to the CBC goal. Closer we can get Cole the better, Ross, of course. Good job keeping the ball intact. He still has it. Campos going to cross it over. It's going to be CBC. Not CBC. Let's see who's going to get it first. There we go. Oh, so close to going out. CBC saves the ball from going out. It uh, hits off CB Jack Micah and it CBC does go out. Ball. Jack Micah could have got it. Throw in by CBC. We are still well over on the CBC side of the field, so we just need to keep the ball over there. Give us that chance to uh, get another score, uh, another goal up on the board to tie the game. With 13 minutes left on the clock, let's see if we can pull up the miracle and go on a PK like how we did in regular season. Now, there's a funny chant over there from Shaman Red Army. Big boy Alvin. As you know, Alvin is a, is a football player. And uh, for a Student Choice Award, he got nominated as the swollest football player. Zach White again with the ball. Another opportunity for Shamanad. It's going to be Shamanad ball. Good hustle over there by Zach, Zach White. Um, I have a, still have a little shout-out uh, for Mr. Roan. As he is 
trying as he is on his way recovering from uh from his uh, uh head injury uh surgery I heard that he walked six miles last uh, the other day. Yes, I heard that too. So for those who don't know, Mr. Roan, the um, head principal here at Chaminade, did have surgery on a benign brain tumor uh, pretty recently. He is at home. Roan. Jack Michael's going to kick it up. Joseph Reed, good head over there. Good save by CBC. And uh, so close. Now Jack Micah still has his, he his hand on the ball. He's going to pass, short pass it. Still, uh. Cole Ross with the ball. Jake Reed is going to pass it oh, oh. to go. That was some beautiful work over by Jack Micah, though. Great job to him and everybody on uh, the Chaminade team for sure, keeping it in there. Very great hustle. Very great focus. Even though, you know, it looks like a chaos. looks pretty chaotic down there when the ball is loose. Ten more. Uh, uh, 10.57 more on the clock. The time is going by fast. All the fans in uh, the packed stadium, it is packed here. There's so many people, uh, students and just parents and fans in general here today all sitting on the edge of their seats waiting to see what will happen with 10 minutes left. The question is, will Chaminade tie the game? And that is the hope, of course, that we tie, go into penalty kicks, and win. The time is taken by down fast, though. Definitely very uh, interesting game. A lot of very close calls. A lot of changes with the ball between Chaminade and CBC. Jack Mike over there with the ball now. And they are setting it. The Red Army is, uh, right now, they're the most active they've been the whole game. I think that goal definitely just uh, not only helped out the players, but helped out the Red Army, just all the Shamnod fans and cheering them on. Jack Micah's going to kick, kick it over. CBC with the ball. Shine Green, the only player uh, on the backfield, he has the ball. It's going to be Shamnod ball. Oh, good job by Ethan Garamella. CBC again with the ball. It's going to go out. I'm um, not going to go out. It's going to go back to Joe Mitchell, I mean. He's going to pass it to uh, Scott Ross. The ball is, is deflected. Joe Mitchell is trying to go back. Crosses cross over, over to the other side of the field. Vincent Lowry, good job saving the ball. That was definitely very intense. He keeps it inbound. Great hustle, very great footwork. And now CBC is gonna have another off offensive attack. And Joe Mitchell is gonna save it just in time. Is he gonna short, he's gonna punt it out. Let's go, it goes straight to CBC. And Sean Green, Sean Green passes the ball up. Headed by CBC and Zach White now with the ball. Kicks it over kicks. and it goes out. Arthur DeCampos comes back in. Also uh, another sub from uh, one of the CBC players. Let's see who is DeCampos taken out. Cooper Jaburis out and uh, DeCampos went in. Definitely great work by uh, Cooper Jaburis there. No, Cooper Jaburis, senior. Great, excellent defensive player. He could have, he has been in the field, on the field for the whole game now. So it was a, he, it was, it is good that he's getting a break, you know. Very well for us. Ethan Garamella has the ball. He's going to cross, he's going to pass it. It's going to be CBC ball. Now, get on their defensive state. Good job by Sean Green, deflects the ball off. Now, Zach White kicks the ball out. It's going to be Cadet's ball. With seven 
and 25 more to go. Shamanad desperately going for that second goal, trying to get it, trying to go to PK, trying to go to overtime, and uh, hopefully bring the bring the win home. Yes, absolutely. Vincent Laurie and CBC go for the ball. <laughs> and flexed it out again. Passes it down all the way to Shaman outside of the field. CBC player takes it and he is with the ball, shoots it. Good save by Joe Mitchell. Just in time. Beautiful save by Joe. CBC number 15 shot the ball right in the middle of the goal and Joe was there to stop it. Vincent Laurie now with the ball, bringing it up over uh, back to CBC's side, Arthur down to Arthur Campos. Still has the ball. CBC uh, goalie now is going to get it. Now we all see that 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 save was coming. You know, the moment he kicked it, I realized Joe Mitchell is not going to be let it in. Definitely not. Yes, and Joe's been in all game, so great work from him. Scott Ross is going to free kick it in. Now we're, all of us are clearly anticipating for another goal. Sean Green, the ball's deflected out. It's going to be Shamanad ball. Trying to save time, as much time as possible over here with 5.39 to go. As the time is going by fast, and we're running out of time to get another point on the board, but nonetheless, Shamanad is pushing kick. through and doing a great job. Now, goal kick is on. This is going to be another opportunity to score for Shamanad. Yes, as we are so close to their goal. The ball is high. They take that corner kick, and it's Amari tries to kick out. it. Yes, it gets deflected. CBC shoots the ball, and it goes out. Shamanad ball. Joe Hipskin has the ball. Garamala kicks it in. Saved by the CBC goalie. Good header over there by Joe Reed. He was just, you know, a little high. Over to a cluster of Shamanai guys. You had Sean Green, Fitzlory, and Jack Micah all right there. Ball now is being run by one of the CBC players. Good hustle by Cole Rise. It's going to be calling Shamanai ball. Scott Rise, he finds his man, which is Jack Micah. He's going to pass it in. Joe Hipskin, he founds the ball. He gets it. It's gonna, but it's going to be CBC as it is stolen from him. Zach White with the ball again. Has an opportunity. They cross it over, and it gets bumped back out to the side. Over to Vincent Laurie. And it is an open ball, CBC, and Vincent Laurie running to it. Sean Green now over here. And the ball gets passed out to one of the CBC players. And they are over there. Let's see who's going to get it. The ball is still in over to Jack Micah, who looks like he's going to cross it. He crosses across the field to Zach White, running it down and back over to Shamanad's side of the field. Jack Mike. Micah passes it over to Sean Green, and Sean with the ball now. Gets it over midfield and back down over to Scott Ross. Working the ball, keeping it close to him. Passes it over to the other side of the field, and they ball went out. Throw in by Shamanad. We are close to the CBC goal this time. We have two minutes and 30 seconds left in the game. 
And oh, almost with the goal. Straight pass to the goal. Just a little bit off. But very, very close nonetheless. Joe Mitchell, closer to midfield, clap it as hard as possible as he's trying to get his guy, you know, try and get his guy to get something on the board and try to win this thing, as most everyone is anticipating for. Zach White's going to head it out. It's going to be CBC ball. And see, we see it running the ball back. Passes over across the field, and they kick it in, and that is a goal for CBC. CBC um, with three to one against Chaminade. Uh, great effort there by Joe Mitchell. He just missed the ball, um, so CBC did, did get that goal there. But definitely great work by the Chaminade guys. Uh, it doesn't look like we are going to tie the game anytime soon with only one minute and 38. Uh, seconds left in the game. CBC looks like they might uh, take the win here, but absolutely great, great play by all the Shamanai guys and Joe Mitchell there. Uh, he, he did let the ball go in, but nonetheless, he did a great, great job. So now it is just a waiting game to see what will happen. Can we get the score uh, three to two, or will it stay where it is three to one? The clock is counting. 1.30 left in the second half of this very, very intense game. CBC goalie with the ball. Looks like he's going to kick it in to the right side of the field. No, I'm sorry, left side of the field. Cooper Chaburis, he, he subs in as he knows this is going to be one of this, his last game. Kuderbers heads the ball. Vincent Lari, and it gets passed back. Joe Mitchell saves it. 51 seconds left on the clock. 51 seconds, not much time left. Red Army is cheering and chanting their hearts out. Throw in by Chaminade over to... Scott Ross, and then it gets passed over to the complete opposite side of the field. It goes out. Looks like the clock is just going to be running for the rest of the game with only 20 seconds left, and CBC up 3-1 to one against Chaminade. Jack Mike now with the ball, and they pass it over. Just a couple seconds left, but the game is not over. They are doing a great job and pulling through. That's it. That's the, it. That is game three to one CBC. against Chaminade. CBC wins, and they are storming the field in victory. Chaminade did not win, but we are still amazed by their effort and how hard they worked. All the team is now coming onto the field, high fiving each other, just talking to each other and talking about the game and just how uh, how close it was, how intense it was. Even though we did not win, uh, definitely just a great camaraderie between all the Chaminade players. A lot of great footwork passes and uh, plays by them for sure. So nothing to be uh, mad about. Of course, we're upset that we didn't win the game, but nothing to be mad about. Each player pulled their weight, did a great job. Lots of hard runs, good plays, and everything. And everyone just came together for the game today. Uh, definitely a lot of fans that were here supporting both teams and amazing student sections uh, for both schools and this was definitely just a great game to be a part of and to be out here for. It is a little chilly out, but uh, uh, just a lot of fun, a lot of great time watching. The time went by very, very fast. Game started at 1, and it is already 2.50. Overall, the Chaminade season was so good. Uh, Lon, tell us a little bit about Chaminades from the beginning of the season until now. Well, um, guys, we might not have not end the season on high notes, but we did have a terrific season, you know. Earlier this year, we beat our, which is, which we think is one of the most toughest opponent we have, 
which is slew. We beat them five to one. Great start for us. And we end the season as we go through the season. We lost only like three three losses, I guess. And um, we have over ten wins, which is very unbelievable. Better from last year, because you know this year seniors. There's a lot of seniors who keep the team heads high, who cheer the guys up, which is a great thing to do. And um, we might, we just, it was a, it was a tough loss for us, but the seniors, hopefully, they can uh, continue their, uh, continue their soccer season in college. Yes, absolutely. And for all of our seniors out there, just thank you for a great season. Definitely, uh, like we said earlier this season, uh, our, our, the, the Chaminade team is filled with a bunch of seniors who all had a ton of playing time tonight and who did such a great job. Uh, just that they go on into the future as this uh, will be their last uh, like official Chaminade soccer game that they can just go on and uh, do great things. I know a, a couple of them will be like continuing playing in college and for sure uh, just keeping up with their soccer careers, but also so next season we'll be so excited to see the uh, all the underclassmen move up and uh, for example just sophomore uh, Sean Green him moving up he did such a great job today and to see what he'll do for the next two years will be awesome to watch and all the juniors that we had today moving up next year to be the seniors of the team and all that they will do for sure. Well, uh, that's an end, that's an end of season for Chaminade. We uh, we have we we might have lost a lot of talents, but let's hope that we can be uh, still come back next year and true still do our best. Yes. And we are have our last sign out for Shamanad Soccer. So all Shamanad Soccer fans, thank you for joining us for today's broadcast. It was a pleasure. Uh, broadcasting and announcing for you guys so on behalf of myself and lon we are signing off have a great rest of your day and thanks for joining us